For those of you who don't know us yet, we are Carol and Ken, and we like touring in our little red camper, tiny Nissan MV200, built by Sussex Camper Vans. We offer tips and tricks for how to survive in such a tiny van, and also try and demonstrate just how easy it is to wild camp. Well, we had a very nice night here, very peaceful. Did you uh, sleep well? I did, yep. Very quiet, it's lovely. Uh, I heard some lads. I don't know what time it was. Did you look at the time or not? No. But uh, they turned up quickly, made quite a bit of noise and then seemed to head straight for the beach. And there's a couple of cars there this morning, so I wouldn't mind betting they've camped on the beach. So we're gonna have some coffee and then we're going to go shopping for supplies, aren't we? We are, and then we've got National Trust tickets booked at half past one for some gardens that are near. Okay, let's see how we get on there. Back on vlog 20, one of our viewers, James, said he thought he'd seen a second infinity pool in the footage. And I think it might be here so this is us in the pass and when we zoom in here this is obviously a little river coming down this mountain and then i think this is what he spotted anyway let us know in the comments jame if this is what you thought you'd seen decided to shake the carpets before we leave Out. Keep it tidy, yeah. Oh, there's a coffee bean. <laughs> I knew I dropped one somewhere. Yeah. There's a boat on a trailer here. They've taken the wheels off to stop it being stolen. Doing some breakfast wraps there, so we might have some of them for our breakfast. Hmm, decisions, decisions. I have their smashed cheeseburger. Smashed cheeseburger, what is that? I don't really know, but it's like a cheeseburger with assortment of cheese and if they do onions, I'll have onions on my please. Okay, do you want a drink? Uh, I'm just happy with water, really. Yeah, so you've got a drink here? Yeah? Uh, I haven't got any water, no. Here you, you go. Out, no, I don't leave. mind the coffee taste. Fine. Some people pay a fortune for coffee flavoured water. I know. I saw you going back. Why did you go back? Oh, he called me back because he forgot to put a hot dog in my wrap. <laughs> <laughs> Just give me the veggie version. <laughs> Imagine if you'd taken a bite. Well, I said that I'd have been disappointed if I'd have bit into it. Yeah, it's your Yeah. 
And I went for the smashed cheeseburger. Mmm. Mm. It's a really good burger. Mm. Yeah, they're good, aren't they? Mm. So, what did you go for? It's an omelette. It's got mushrooms, cheese, um, onions, and a hot dog. This is the best burger I've had for years from a van. You see so many of them making claims about, you know, their their meat. But this is the first time I think where it's been really true. I like that burger so much I thought I'd tell the guy. Just wanted to say that's the best burger I've had from a van for yonks. Really? Yeah, really good. So what are you called? Urban Eats? Urban Eats, yeah. Are you here regularly? Um, we've been, I came Wednesday and yeah. then we're here again today but um, we'll be doing Wednesdays and Fridays here. Oh okay, I'll put, we do YouTube videos so I'll put okay. you in the video. Fantastic. Cheers Thank now. You Ta -da. Cheers. Try that smashed cheeseburger folks. I love plugging people who do good food. Here we are again, happy as can be. I need a USB-C cable long enough to reach from the leisure battery in the back to our position in the front so that I can keep that camera charged. Seven pounds, please. Yeah. Thanks very much. Yeah. Cheers. Thanks, Here we go. Uh, now then, let's get this set up. Oh. Need my little pen knife. Be interesting to try this cable on your. Um, iPad. Type C charge. Yeah, that's right. Because well, that won't work on my iPad. No, no. Oh yeah, it wouldn't. But um, try one of the other ones to see if you still get that annoying message. Oh right, yeah. Oh, one of their <clears throat> Apple approved ones. Yeah, yeah, you shouldn't get that annoying message. So this will enable us to charge this camera all the time. The droob. I thought the cable wasn't working properly because there was no red light on the camera and then she so kindly reminded me that it doesn't charge when the camera's switched on you can join the numpty club yep I'm in there with you now aren't I no <laughs> with Mike we in van oh we in van yeah <laughs> that's good okay then so across the road now to little let's stock up on provisions <clears throat> yeah out of B&M. Yeah. And into Lidl. <laughs> you could have put the sat nav on. <clears throat> we'll get these in and then we'll know how many to buy, won't we? Yeah. I've got space in the boot for about 12 of these bottles. It's surprising how little water we actually use, isn't it? I think, I always think. We used a lot yesterday when I washed my hair. Yeah. Pain, wasn't it? Right, just have to wait for someone to come out the last set of doors. Yeah, hey, we've seen these. What are these? Jaffa donuts. Should we try some? I'm sure we will. Mm, and these ones, yeah. Sweet assorted buns. They look nice. <laughs> well, what are they? Yeah. I'd like to try a Jaffa donut, please. Where's the bag? Cell number six, please. Not one each. Are they all the same price? Oh, they're different price. Well, unless you want to share one. Oh, 
ones because they'd be hot. You know, cut half and half and share yeah, one. Yeah, because they might not be very nice. Try one of those. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Definitely getting them again. Sweet chilli sausages, Sweet chili they're sausages. the best. In the bag. Breakfast muffins. Yeah. Sausage and hash brown. Right. Well, a lot of it is bottles of water, so they're all going in the back. Yeah. So we'll see, won't we? You certainly will. I need to do my magic trick. You'll get it in there, no worries. Pizza report doesn't fit in the fridge. So these prawns were frozen, were they? Yeah. Yeah, we can cut it up, can't we? We'll have to. Uh, yeah. Oh, two more things to go in that cupboard. <laughs> Chocolate, I forgot we had that. Yeah. They're just a bit too long, aren't they? For the mm -hmm. Annoying. They are. Just balance them there. Did you get it all in? We certainly did. Well done. We had to put the pizza in the boot, but we're having it later, so there's no problem. Keeps quite cool. Our uh, cupboards keep fairly cool. Are they your keys? Uh, yes. Yeah, my knife on them. Mine in my jacket. So we've got to decide where we're going now. Okay, okay. We're keeping an eye out for diesel now. That's a good job done. Always good to stock up on provisions. Yeah, definitely. How much is the diesel here? 133.9. Uh, yeah. That's quite expensive. So then we'll get your fuel pecker, hopefully. Oh, I can get 4p off a litre. Makes a difference. Uh, a bit of a difference. Diesel. Thirty-seven oh six. I do next to points as well. I have all the cards. Point number eight. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no. yeah. uh, so how many times is that we've filled up now? I think this is number three, three isn't it? Three, yes. I think third time, yeah. Yeah. And this is our start of our fourth week. Yeah. Uh, so that was £37 worth of diesel. Yeah. Okay, off we go. Which was how many litres? 27.68 litres. Right, yeah. Here come the motorbike boys. I used to love riding my bike in the summer. I'm not so sure I'd want to ride one these days though with the current traffic. Seagulls were dancing all around I woke up with a sunrise on the sea It's such a precious gift to me The salty breeze and the waves The slow pace The salty breeze and the waves I'm out of our place Drove all day towards the coast 
beauty of this life Such a feeling to be alive The salty breeze in my lungs And back to where I'm from The salty breeze in my lungs On and on and on section of this awful launch tower was lifted on Sunday last weekend and was stacked late in the afternoon. Little cakes. Little cakes. The tower section was stacked and on Friday morning the sixth tower section was... So this one, which hasn't got any filling, is actually really nice. The uh, It's got some nice thick icing on top. Is it like a cream cheese type icing or it's just sweet? It's different. And cinnamon, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's all it is. Mm. It's a cinnamon icing. Mm. Whereas this one, mm. oh, it, this is the, I forgot, this is the um, Jaffa Donut. Jaffa Donut. Mm. What's that like? Mmm. Mm. It's very nice. It's not a jelly. You know, like in Jaffa, so you have it's jelly. It's like a runny jam, but it's very nice. It doesn't really taste like a Jaffa, but it's still nice. Delish. I think. Very nice. So soft. Yeah. Mmm. I like that. Have you tried the other one? Yes, this one. It's like a cinnabon. Yeah. Really soft and tasty. Yeah. Mm. Mm. And lots of cinnamon inside. Oh, mine didn't have that. Mm. Mm. Mm, I think you got the best half. You've got some swirls in yours. Oh, okay. Mm. So I'm going to have a crafty nap while Carol takes you round the house. <laughs> Let's see a gal. <laughs> well, you're going to go on the bed. Oh, Alright then. I'm just going to sit here for five minutes till my time ticket is valid. Till your time ticket? Well, don't forget, it'll take you five minutes to walk up there. Yeah, well, I want to finish my tea as well. Of course you do. And I've got a half hour slot, so I don't have to be there dead on. Dead on? Thank you. 
This is Plassin Rue, an early 17th century manor house in northwest Wales. It was donated to the National Trust in 1950 by the Keating sisters, who had pooled their savings to buy the property in 1939. Inside the house, there are many design features inspired by Sir Clough Williams Ellis, the architect who created Port Merion. The history of the estate can be traced back 4,000 years to the Neolithic period. The garden is on a wooded hillside facing southeast across Porth Nagel. It's nearly an acre in size and comprises spaces enclosed by box hedging and linked by grassed and gravel paths. The orchard contains over 140 trees of apples, pears, plums and cherry. What a pretty little place to sit. And the view's not bad either. And it looks like he's awake. I thought I was going to catch you sleeping. <laughs> I've just been looking for crisps and I can't find any. <laughs> I caught you. I saw your legs hanging out the van. I was looking for Pringles. Have we eaten them all? No, they're there. Oh, I couldn't find them. Mm. I thought it's a hard polite. life. <laughs> well, now you're back then. Maybe you show me where they are. <laughs> the steep one? Onwards and upwards. The journey continues. Yeah. It would go away, you could see the sea. It's coming. Ken. Sorry? Shop Ken. It's <laughs> your shop. Look at these old people on this bridge. And that's the way into the car park, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Leaving the old life. Giving the new one a try Baking the past as we go Trying a new way to grow Finding a new way to define The way our life is in this time Shh. 
Salad and some pizza. Yummy, eh? Mm. Mm. Just met a couple in the van behind us who were umming and ahhing about staying here tonight uh, because they're spooked by all the signs that have been put up saying no camping. But they've driven off now and are looking for somewhere else. So time will tell what we do, whether we stay here or we move off as well. We're pretty close to a town here. <coughs> and it all depends if the locals don't like the camping. If that's the reason, then uh, it's probably better off to move off somewhere else, but you're out of their way. Mm. See, won't we? Mm. Well, the van is moving, so you will no doubt determine that we have decided not to stay down there tonight. Would you stay here? Find out next time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit that subscribe button and give us a like for more adventures from the Little Red Camper. <laughs>